What is going on, my reefing fam? Mark here. This is Fragbox TV. We are back in school. If you're new to the channel, welcome back. We donated this Reef Casa Studio 12 gallon to what are, where are we? Harvard Collegiate? Harvard Collegiate. Harvard Collegiate in Toronto. And it's doing really well. We're going to do a little water change today. Actually, hold on. Backtrack. It's doing okay. Hmm. I like to show you guys on the channel the good and the bad. I think the good is too easy. I can say, oh, look at this amazing bubble tip anemone and our starfish that's loving life. Um, you're seeing what is looking good. We've had a little bit of trouble in this tank with fish. Oh, if you're looking to set up a saltwater tank like this, you can buy it as a complete kit at reefcasa.com. That is my sales plug for the day. Let's get into it. Okay, so we've tried two fish? Two fish. Two fish, and they have not lived. We tried a pink skunk clownfish, and I think just a regular oscillaris, and I'm not really sure why, because everything else more or less is looking really good. Um, I'm starting to think that maybe the tap water might be the issue. We're going to try our third fish today, which is a mocha oscillaris. It's a little bit bigger, so I'm hoping that that may help our survivability. Is that a word? Sure. Survivability. We're going with that. So if this doesn't make it because we've, we're adding our third healthy fish to this tank, I'm starting to suspect there may be an issue. Um, I'm always preaching like, oh my God, look how, you know, it looks pretty good. We're using tap water. We're literally, for our top off, we're taking water straight out of here. And then we're adding some prime water conditioner to dechlorinate and remove some of the ammonia and nitrate. And it seems to be working pretty well for the corals. Like most of them are looking really good. Sorry for the dirty glass, the mushroom, bubble tip anemone, um, some Kenya tree, Dr. Fuzzy, some daisy polyps, uh, green star polyps, and pulsing zinnia. So all soft coral right now. But fish, we're running into issues. So we're going to try one more. If it doesn't make it, again, I think I'm going to suspect that the water may be the culprit. Um, what else are we adding? We're going to add an arrow crab just because they're super fun. Oh, actually, we also lost a shrimp. So maybe related, but so we're going to try this one. This is a really funky looking crab. Kind of looks like a spider. You teach evolution in this class? Unfortunately not, but I can talk about it. Oh, okay. So I think spiders probably came from this. I think that's its distant cousin. In terms of corals, we're going to add two more softies because we're going to stick to what's doing well. Um, so we have some clove polyps and we have a nice leather coral. So I suspect these are going to do really well because the soft coral we've added so far, no problem. We're doing a water change once every, when was the last time I was here? Once in a while, month? Okay, a yeah, about a month and we're just doing um, five gallons. So I come with um, salt water already prepared, aquaphorus reef salt as the salt of choice. And it's a really low maintenance system. There's not a lot we're doing here. Changing the filter floss in the back as it gets dirty. We have a Duetto um, auto top off coming out of this bucket on the floor for evaporation. And that's it. Okay, water change done. So it's a little bit cloudy because I uh, messed up the sand a little bit. The clove polyp I put on the bottom just to let it adjust. So it's not a bad idea sometimes to put corals lower down in the tank just to become acclimatized to new light, new flow, because everything is different than this tank. Um, compared to the ones back at the shop. Leather, same thing on the bottom. Clown's looking good, fingers crossed. If you're out there, please say a prayer for him. We don't want to lose this one. Or maybe comment below, do you have any ideas why we are losing um, healthy fish in a tank when everything else is doing well? They're coming here healthy. They look good from the store. Nitrates are in check. Ammonia's not present. The tank is cycled. Um, I'm a little bit out of ideas. I'm, I'm suspecting the tap water. The arrow crab's there in the back, chilling, doing his thing. And I think a lot of people think that keeping a saltwater tank is difficult. Literally, the water change takes me five minutes. I'm coming with prepared water. On a small tank like this, that's really all you need to do. The water change is taking out a lot of the excess nutrients, and then we're adding all the good um, minerals, uh, calcium, alk, magnesium, all getting replenished. So it's kind of like, I always say, it's like flushing the toilet on the tank. Everything bad leaving and then all the new clean nice salt water coming back in that's it a little bit of a shorter video today just to give you an update on this studio 12 here inside the school if you guys got any questions hit us up it's fragboxcorals at gmail.com you can find these at reefcasa.com and if you have any ideas about why our clownfish are perishing in an otherwise completely healthy tank i'd really like to see uh, help us out in the comments below okay thanks have a nice day bye, -bye.